How we is anyone else freaking out slightly about holiday shopping and what to do about it? Because I'm not great at the old buying online. Reg, <laughs> three weeks to go from today. Are you are you all locked in? Do you know what you're doing? Are you planned? No. No? <laughs> when do you normally do your Christmas shopping? Throughout the year. So you'll see something in March and yeah. go, oh, that'll be lovely for James. Yeah. I'll never give it to him. <laughs> I can only imagine that's what has happened. It's, it's just, just the thought of giving you the gift well, for me the is truth. The thought, that's enough. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. It's true that when people say that, it's the thought that counts. Because <laughs> if you said to someone, I thought about buying you a gift, but I didn't, no one would res respond by saying, well, it's the thought that counts. <laughs> it's a bit like when someone says, I tell it how it is. They never follow, <laughs> they never follow that up with something unbelievably positive. <laughs> now, okay, you know me. You know me, I just say it how it is, and I think your hair looks fantastic. <laughs> I'm a straight shooter, man, and the more burgundy you wear, the better you look. <laughs> what about you? Are you ready for Christmas? Oh, I'm, I'm done, man. I'm Jewish, and I... Like, <laughs> Hanukkah will sneak up on you out of nowhere, so you gotta... You gotta so, finish your shopping by the end of October, because it might be November 1st one year, it might be April 10th. It, I, <laughs> hang on, you've, you've bought all the gifts already? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you're completely done? I'm done. I've got nothing. I normally do it Christmas Eve. <laughs> I genuinely do. There's no one in the stores, and you've, there is no option. You've got to get it, because I'll see something, I'll go, ah, well, I'll remember that. I'll remember that, but I might see something else. I'll never remember that. I don't. <laughs> so, Boris, Christmas Eve, no choice. Done. You do it, you wrap it in yes. tinfoil, and that's it. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. It's 100% it's the way. You don't need any sellotape. <laughs> do you call it sellotape? Right. Yes, self sealing. It's sellotape. And it's festive. Scotch tape. Scotch tape. It is. I'll give you that. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you off that one. But the thing with... <laughs> The thing with the thing with tin foil, you know, do you call it tin foil? Aluminum yeah, we foil? Do. Yeah, yeah, tin foil. Oh, we we, we right say aluminum. Jumping. Reynolds wrap. What is it? What? So, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Aluminum, aluminium foil. Aluminium. Get the gift, scrunch it up, done. That's so smart. And kind of looks Christmassy. Yep. You know, it's like leftovers. That's how they wrap things up know in a me, restaurant. If you know me well enough, you'll know I have never, ever had leftovers. <laughs> so wow. if, I, wow. if I walk into a room with that, no one's ever looked at me and gone, oh, he must have left some food. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I remember so vividly, I was like 19, I was walking down a hotel corridor and someone had put their tray outside the room and it was like, half a burger and fries, and it was the first time I'd ever seen anyone leave food. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing they did. I was like, wow, they, they were full and didn't eat until they couldn't breathe. <laughs> Which was, frankly, my entire experience growing up. I, I already know the answer to this in my heart. And but... yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, OK. Yes, I did. <laughs> Me too. Yes, I did. Every time. Yes, I did. It'll be the first thing I do once the vaccine is out. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> Even found a couple of bread rolls up the other end of the corridor. <laughs> then I was like, why am I ordering room service? I could just travel around the corridors. I had sushi and a bit of salmon. <laughs> two, bite, two corners of a quesadilla. No, I took the rest back for my wife. <laughs> Wrapped up in foil, Merry Christmas. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Right, let's look at some news. I know that's what you're here for. You're like, well, what happened today? <laughs> what happened in the news today? <laughs> Every day we start the show with this news. Like, this isn't news you already know. But that's what we're doing. So you'll know this, but let's do it and see if we can make it fun. So President Trump's... <laughs> President Trump's legal team is still making a last-ditch effort to overturn the election where Rudy Giuliani uh, was in Michigan yesterday urging state lawmakers to investigate his claims of voter fraud. And you know you're in for a treat when Professor Giuliani's crazy talk caravan rolls into town. <laughs> in recent days, Giuliani has been in Philadelphia, Arizona, and now Michigan. It's basically... It's like a Where's Waldo except you literally have no interest in finding him. 
<laughs> At last night's televised hearing, Giuliani introduced a star witness who ended up going viral because of her attitude. Take a look at how she stressed her credibility. And I know what I saw, and I signed something saying that if I'm wrong, I can go to prison. Okay. Did you? <laughs> no. no. Gotta say, she'd crush it in prison. <laughs> to be fair, she does look like the type of person who has spent time in Disneyland jail. This is their star witness. That looked like a scene from Law and Order Special Karen's Unit. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't all. At another point, this so-called star witness accused a Republican state senator of tampering with election results. So is that... Let's I guess, let is that Representative your Johnson ask his question, and then when I he's done... I thought that was his answer. Okay. Well, I guess uh, that, that's well, my, my question here is why... We're not seeing the poll book off by 30,000 votes. That, that's not the case. What did you guys do? Take it and uh, do something crazy to it? <laughs> <laughs> you just know that she dropped that line and in, in her head she was like, check and make. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna bet this is the only video of her where she isn't walking down the street crying, holding her heels in her hand, yelling, I wanna go to a Waffle House! <laughs> You shut up! <laughs> I had to call an Uber. It's my shit. <laughs> it got so bad that at one point Rudy Giuliani reached over and tried to shush her. Why don't you look at the registered voters on there? How many registered voters are on there? <laughs> Did you do you even know the answer to that? No, I guess it's, I'm trying to get to the bottom zero. of this here. Zero. Zero. There's zero. So. My question then is if the Guess how many wait what about what about how what what, what about the turnout rate? A hundred and twenty percent. Good move, Rudy. She definitely seems like the kind of person who responds well to people shushing her. <laughs> and Giuliani's response makes sense though. You know, he's a patient man, but he will not be out crazied. <laughs> her attitude was so over the top, at one point the committee tried to calm her down by saying, look, just be calm. Why don't you share some of your thoughts with us about being forced to wear masks? <laughs> <laughs> and did you guys see this? In order to help demonstrate the safety of the COVID-19 vaccine, former presidents Clinton, Bush and Obama have said that they are willing to take the vaccine live on television. Well, I don't know. It sounds to me like they just want to get the first vaccines. <laughs> I, I thought that. Doesn't it? I I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it on TV to show it's safe, but can my family also get one? <laughs> but this is true. Clinton, Bush, Obama, and me, the big four. <laughs> you know us. We're never not together. We're actually we're on a group WhatsApp. <laughs> it's called Presbids, but with two Zs. <laughs> I do like this idea of them doing it on TV. They should just they should have all of them take take the vaccine during New Year's Eve, Rock and Eve. <laughs> you think, like, like, five, four, three, two, ow! Happy New Year! <laughs> and with Christmas coming up, we wanted to show you this. A woman in Australia was surprised to find an unexpected visitor had made itself at home in her fake Christmas tree. It was this adorable koala. Look at that. Honestly, I just assumed that that's what they do in Australia. I... <laughs> The only way this could be more of a cliché is if that koala was wearing a hat with corks on it, drinking a Foster's, wrestling a crocodile and grilling some shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> the koala made itself at home on her fake Christmas tree, which is way better than what happened last year. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, some big news out of Southeast Asia. Singapore is now the first country in the world to approve the sale of lab-created meat. Ow! Yeah, this is a huge step. Scientists say an achievement like this is very rare. It could be medium rare. <laughs> so now you can get your protein straight from the meat lab, which is, which is what I also call the childhood home of the Hemsworths. <laughs> the meat lab. <laughs> I'd like to start a club night with you, Guillermo, called the meat lab. What city?
I'd like to do it in downtown LA, Guillermo and James's meat lab. Only rule, no one wears a top. <laughs> we should do it when quarantines, you know. For sure. Yeah. I think people will be down for dance at the meat lab. It's really dark. It's really dark. It never gets weird. It just <laughs> It's really dark and it never gets weird. Yeah. Impossible. Right, it's impossible <laughs> for you. Impossible for you after last night's revelations. <laughs> I'm disappointed, James. <laughs> Did you get any message from your girlfriend's parents? Last they night? loved it. Did they? Yes. For real? Yeah, absolutely. And did you manage to have an open and honest conversation about your swinging? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have, but there's no, there wasn't enough time. No. You had to get to a swingers party. <laughs> Actually, th I think it's a great advancement. I do. I think the, the like, lab-grown meat, this is the future. You know, but not, not everybody thinks that lab-created meat is a good idea. This woman, for example, is pretty suspicious. What did you guys do? Take it and uh, do something crazy to it? <laughs>